Hey, this is Brooks Wackerman from Event Sevenfold, and I am thrilled to be part of uh, Modern Drummer's Kit Rundown. DW was kind enough to make me this acrylic double kick drum set, and I've only used acrylic snares in the past, but uh, this time around I was very interested in using acrylics across the board, um, and I was pleasantly surprised with uh, just how much punch and warmth they had. Um, I still love wood drums, but um, I guess the impetus behind it was with our production and video walls and we have this plexiglass drum riser, the lights shine through the shells and uh, the aesthetic is, is pretty awesome. So the tom sizes are 10, 12, 13, floors are 15, 16, uh, the depths on the rack toms are 9, which are very easy to position, it's kind of the Keith Moon concept where all of his depths were the same. Um, plus to me, it gets a lot more punch. Uh, the octopons are six and eight, and usually you never see an eight, but um, we call these target practices because of how small the diameter is. But yeah, the eight against the six gives like a nice, nice little uh, balance. All the hardware is DW. I started using not a full rack, but I call it bookends racks. So the front doesn't cover the uh, finish of the drum kit. So I just have the uh, side racks. 9,000 pedals with uh, my signature beater, the innovative percussion made. Um, it's, uh, it's lighter than your normal wood beater so you don't get as much leg fatigue. I signed on to Istanbul about a year and a half ago and I just love their symbols. Um, I try and have a spectrum of dark and bright symbols. So I got this uh, 20 dark here, uh, auxiliary ride in Istanbul, uh, customized this for me. So it has a mega bell on it. Um, it's slanted down just because that's where I feel it the best. Um, the hats are 15, 15 inch mantras. Um, I got a traditional 20 inch stack. I think it's 12 on the bottom. It's like a mini China with a um, 10 inch splash on top. Uh, 18 inch exist, 22 inch ride, and then these are my auxiliary hats, 16 inch traditionals, um, China with holes in them because it just has a, to me, a better balance. 18 inch crash, and then this is my uh, pride and joy these days, my gong. What we have here is a 36 inch gong, and um, the last note of the set uh, is me just hitting the gong one time, so uh, well worth it. Sticks, I'm endorsed by Innovative Percussion. This is my uh, sig signature model uh, with my death bat, the robotic Brooks face. Um, this is actually uh, the new one. I, I have two signatures. The OG one is more of a uh, 2B, and then this one is closer to a 5B. So this is coming out in the next month. Heads, all Remo. Started using pinstripes, which I love. It's uh, dead, but not too dead. And then uh, ambassadors on the bottoms. Kicks are Power Stroke 3s with um, Falam patches. On the last leg, uh, we had a fantastic band open up for us called Alexis on Fire. And their drum tech, Jordan, who's a drum maker, has his own company called uh, 
WC, sorry, it's YC, Young Classic, out of uh, Ontario, Canada. Um, it's a seven by 14 brass, and it's just a beautiful looking drum and amazing sounding drum. It has like, it's a good combination of body and uh, has enough crack uh, for, for the style of music that I'm playing. Um, and the lugs are really unique too. So almost reminds me of like original Camco lugs. Um, so this is my kit. I, you know, just with the toms, I, the, the tuning is very, um, uh, you know, like punch is a word that always comes to mind, but I try, we try and make each tom ha have its own like discreet voice. Um, and the floors are pretty low. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, it's a beast of a kit and it seems to grow each year like a plague. <laughs> up it's it's pretty much a combination of doing yoga stretches and also rudiments on the pad so I'll go between you know say like stick control uh, patterns that I grew up practicing um, and I, I play everything very slowly um, and then I have a double pedal um, that I do you know everything from like slow 16th note grooves to 30 second note grooves. Um, and then I have a set list and I just kind of compartmentalize certain grooves throughout the set that um, may be more challenging. Uh, so I'll, I'll focus on that, stretch, have a cup of coffee, and then uh, um, that's pretty much it. So it depends on when a tour is coming up. I mean, I, I try and get into the studio every day, whether there's a show or, or tour, just, to, just because I still love creating and I, I always have like a list of ideas that I'm working on, whether it's from favorite drummers of mine that are playing patterns that I'm not familiar with. Um, I'm always working on Latin drumming which is a never-ending uh, journey, but I love it. There's just so many, uh, just so many rhythms that I, I love studying in, in that genre. Um, and then there's always, you know, some death metal drummer that I'll discover over in Europe that I'll, I mean, I'm, I'm a huge Gene Hoglan fan, so I, I was just watching him the other day on YouTube, and yeah, so I, I try and, you know, be inspired by I guys like it. I'd say the first single off of our new record, Nobody. I, it's a it's a very mechanical 16th note groove. That, that's the main uh, groove throughout the song. So kind of takes you on a dynamic journey. Um, we love you. It's another one, Game Over, which is the first song on in our set. Um, those are three that stick out. Thank you so much, Modern Drummer, for having me. Uh, I grew up subscribing to your magazine, and uh, it truly means a lot that uh, 
you happy down here today.